Hey, everybody, it is Radley here with the Energetic Weather Report for December 4th through the 10th with Archangel Michael Sword of Light Oracle Cards and also your personal Archangel of the Week. So <clears throat> intuitively speaking, do you feel called to card number one? Card number two. Card number three or card number four. And we will return to your personal Archangel of the Week in just a second. So let's look at the energetic weather report for December 4th through 10th. On Sunday, <clears throat> you get a lot of validation and affirmation that you're on the right track, that you've made a decision and the decision is the right one. And so it's just, it's mostly like a day of validation, a day of, okay, yes, I am on the right track. I'm doing the right thing. This is super awesome. Yay, 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 yay. <clears throat> On Monday, we are reminded to be a light to others, and this is the season of light. We have made it into the holiday season, so a perfect time to do that. This card says you have a powerful message to share. Shine your light on the world so that others can learn from you. So... <clears throat> Really, you want to like shine, shine, shine on Monday. Allow yourself to really be present. Be an exaggerated part of yourself if you have to, but allow yourself to be fully available to people for them to see the light that you have to bring. <clears throat> On Tuesday, we are told, open your heart, open your heart. So the card says no one is perfect. Stop judging yourself and others and let love heal this situation. I think that's a really, really important message for a lot of people who feel like they just don't have a lot of compassion for themselves. They judge themselves on a regular basis and find themselves not measuring up. But remember, you were told on Monday, you are a light to the world. So stop judging yourself and allow yourself to feel the love for yourself. <clears throat> Now, on Wednesday, we have the card that someone new is coming. An important new relationship is on the horizon. Open your mind and heart so that happiness can enter your life. And so this is a card that really does talk about like someone new coming in. Now, it could be romantic, and there is an element of romance in the cards on Saturday. Um, <clears throat> but this can also just be a very close, intimate friendship of someone that you just feel really, really close to, but it's platonic, could be somebody new that comes into your life who can help you with your career. <clears throat> um, but on Thursday, we're told, don't settle for less. Don't settle for less. You're a child of the divine and you deserve to have your dreams come true. Don't give up. Now, what's funny about that? is Friday is, no, this is not the right time yet. So it's on the one hand, it's like <clears throat> the cards are saying, don't settle for less. And as a part of that message, they're saying, even though it's not quite time just yet. So keep your bar raised high, even though things are not in the moment of manifestation just yet. And finally, we have uh, don't give up on love. And so, um, you know what I'm going to just say is I feel, well, look, the card says a relationship you cherish can be healed. Allow me to clear the way for forgiveness so that love can thrive again. So this can be the healing of a current relationship probably is, uh, but it could also be someone new coming in and maybe you're judging yourself and you're feeling like, oh, this isn't going to work because it never works, or even if it's a friendship. And so the cards are saying, don't give up on this just yet. Now, for uh, our personal Archangel of the Week, we have Zadkiel. So Zadkiel is the Archangel of Forgiveness. So that goes very much into that card for Tuesday because so, it can be self-forgiveness. Uh, Zadkiel is also the, you know, of the Archangel of Memory, so he can help with that. <clears throat> Card number two is Raguel, the friend of God. So the archangel that helps us to like bring in people, and we're talking about this on Wednesday and Saturday, bringing in people who can help you. Uh, card number three is Sandalphon, an archangel that I really am fond of, who is the archangel of prayer and helps us to have our prayers 
reach to heaven and then for us to recognize the answers to those prayers when they come. And finally, card number four is Metatron, the archangel of focus and balance in our lives. And he's also a great archangel for manifesting, but also an archangel that protects very sensitive people. So there you have it, the energetic weather report for December 4th through the 10th. Now, We've got a bunch of stuff coming up in the holiday season. I am going to be doing my annual 12 days of Oracle cards this year, not 12 days of tarot, but 12 days of Oracle cards. I'm, that will start on my birthday, 12-12, um, and go through 12-23. <clears throat> We're also really looking ahead. If you don't know it, there's a Mercury retrograde that is coming at the end of this month, right after Christmas and lasts until January 18th. So we're trying to get all our planning done before then. We've got it pretty much settled. And so on January 19th, the day after uh, Mercury retrograde is over, we are going to be offering a free new event that is going to be interactive with me and helping people to get started for the new year. But we don't want to do that in the middle of a Mercury retrograde. Uh, it's just better if we do it afterwards. So we've got you covered. We've got the plan. Uh, you can find out more about that. Uh, sign up for that free event on January 19th by going to RadleyValentine.com slash 2023. So talk to you next week.